All right, guys, so this is a video more of uh, fixing a problem than modding my 550. And for the people just stumbling across this video, I'm hoping this is what you uh, guys ran into. And this is why you guys are here. Um, I'll probably put a screenshot of the codes that I'm getting on the, my car right now. I was causing this problem. Um, and then after that, I'll sh I'm showing... I'll show you guys where the module is, but I'm switching the EKPM module on my car because of fuel problems and the car will just die. And after letting it sit for 30-ish minutes or so, the car just decides to turn back on and run like nothing ever happened. So that's why I'm switching that because if it was fuel related, like fuel pump related problems, the car probably never would have turned on no matter how long I would have let it sit. So I'm hoping this fixes it. We're gonna replace that part and then take it for a drive and hopefully it doesn't leave me stranded somewhere. <laughs> so first things first, you take off your cover there. I think there's supposed to be another piece here because it looks like something was here before and then it covers that side. But mine doesn't have it and there's no bolts here. So now all I gotta do is take this off because I tried pulling this and this is stuck. So I believe I had to take this plastic off to be able to take that carpet piece off so the only thing holding mine in i don't know if mine was missing stuff or but these four little plastic clips but now technically this should come up yep that's there and then now as you can see yep there's the sucker uh first we do have to unbolt the battery because it's electrical and then after that we can unplug that and then switch them I'm just hoping it works good because it's, it is an aftermarket one. Like it's not being like, it get <laughs> Yeah. Or not turn on at all. The fucking being was like almost $400. Yeah, literally. But stupid, cause that, but then they also sold an upgraded one for uh, what is it called? For three hundred dollars, and it's like upgraded. Yeah, they built, they put like a fan on it. As you can see, I already swapped the parts over. You can tell the original one because it has the sticker on it. But now all I gotta do is bolt it back on and then connect the battery and that's pretty much it. All right, so installed, bolted up, battery's connected. Time for the moment of truth. See if this thing even turns on with this aftermarket. Uh, fuel module. So far, so good. No air lights. Uh, I don't know why it's saying that. Well, hopefully, that goes away once you start driving it. But so far, so good. So the little battery discharge uh, icon went away that I showed you guys just a few seconds ago. So I'm hoping it's good. Um, I did let the car sit for two days, so I don't know, maybe that has nothing to do with it. Um, but yeah, now I just gotta put all this stuff back and then we'll take it for a spin. And uh, hopefully at the end of this video, you don't see me stranded. <laughs> all right guys, so just to let you guys know, I probably drove in the car for 30 minutes, put it in sport mode, did pools. Uh, you see it's all up in the temperature. Yeah, um, no fucking lights on the dash, car runs fine, no idling issues, so I believe that's what fixed it, um, I'll let you guys know, if anything else, I'm gonna take this car to work tomorrow, it's like a 45 minute drive, and then, uh, if anything happens, then you'll see it right after this clip, and if this video ends now, then, uh, this will most likely solve your problem, um, alright then guys, um, 
see you guys on the next video.